What's going on guys, JB Tech here back with another video and in this video I'm actually going to show you how to set your own custom ringtones slash text tones slash whatever kind of alert tones you want to do on your iDevice. So this only works if you have iOS 5. As you know, iOS 5 they did release the the whole ability to actually set your own ringtones for your text tones, ringtones, etc, etc, etc all that new voicemail tone all that so let's get started guys alright guys so before we do begin um, be aware this ringtone has to be under 30 seconds so you have to keep it under 30 seconds or else it will not sync to your phone and it will not work so just be aware of that under 30 seconds guys keep it under that or else it won't work anyways let's uh, get started with this so what we have to do is open up iTunes and then this actually I'm gonna convert a song into my a ringtone so so whatever is in your library you can actually set into ringtones I'm a big Bayside fan if any Bayside any Bayside fans out there I don't know I'm a big Bayside fan so if there is any you're awesome Bayside's the shit so what we gotta do first is select the song and find wherever you want it to start and end um, I already got mine set so what we gotta do first is right click on the song click on get info and then right in here in the tabs up here there's summary info video sorting and options we'll go down to options and then right here at the start time you will select what time you want to start at so I'm gonna start mine at a 1 minute and 55 seconds in to the song and then I'm gonna stop time two minutes and 25 seconds so it'll end up being 30 seconds so like I said do not make it over 30 seconds or it will not work so what we gotta do now is go ahead and click OK and then once you do that we're gonna convert the file into an AAC file so to do that we will right click on the song and then scroll down to where it says create AAC version And then once it's created, you will hear that little dinging noise, you know. I'm pretty sure you've heard that thousands of times. And then go ahead and drag the AAC file, the one that was just converted, into your desktop or onto your desktop. And then we will have to change the file type to a ringtone. So how to do that is you will click on the file on the desktop. And as you see right here, the extension is M4A. We will just simply change the A to an R. So it would say M4R now instead of M4A. And once you do that, just go ahead and hit enter. And then it will ask if you're sure you want to change it to M4A to M4R. And yes, you do. So go ahead and tap on use M4R. Once that's changed, we will have to make sure before you do anything else we will go ahead and delete um, the AAC file we created in iTunes go ahead and delete the one in the library click on remove move to trash and then we will just double click on the one on the desktop it is playing I'll turn that off for copyright stuff and then go ahead and click on ringtones inside of iTunes as you see my file is in here now and all you gotta do now is go ahead and sync your phone go to your phone or whatever you're doing it on go ahead and go up here to the tabs and hit ringtones and then sync ringtones and then you can select which ones you want to do or I'm just gonna do all of them which is just one go ahead hit apply and sync and you're ready to go once that is synced we'll just go to your phone and then as you see here we we'll just go to settings whoops go to settings and then go to sounds and then I clicked on ringtone and then look for your ringtone as you see right here it says ringtones I don't know if you can hear it well but but yeah so there you go so that's going to be it for this video guys. Just a quick little way to set your own custom ringtones. If this video will help you out, 
go ahead and like the video down the bottom left down there and go ahead and hit that subscribe button right up there what look at my fat finger um and then if you have any questions comments just leave them down in the comments below and i'll be coming out with more videos on the whole new ios 5 little tweaks and Cydia tweaks and all that good stuff so make sure you stay subscribed if you already are my subscriber and subscribe if you're not so that's about it guys i'll catch you on the next video later